He's overcome multiple cancer diagnoses, a tabloid-ridden divorce, and painful back surgery. Now, just as his life was getting back on track, Tarek El Moussa, star of HGTV's Flipper Flop, is dealing with an old health issue all over again. The last five years of my life has been an absolute roller coaster. A lot of great things. I became a new father. Our TV show became a success. And at the same time, there have been a lot of lows. Going through cancer, I went through a very public divorce. I had a horrific back injury. I was finally to the point where life was great. And all of a sudden, about two months ago, I was in the gym and I hurt my back again. Ah! The first time I hurt my back was a few years ago. I slipped multiple discs. The doctor said, just give it some time and it might heal but it was so bad I can barely move. I did some physical therapy, but because I wasn't so much back pain, I was taking a lot of pain medications. My stomach hurt all the time, and I ended up losing 50 to 60 pounds. My skin was bright white. I was really sick. I looked like a cadaver. At the end of the day, after 10 months of zero improvement and living in absolute pain, I decided to get the surgery. It took me a long time to recover from the back injury, and I've been doing amazing. That shaped my life. Things were going great. My relationship with Christina was good. And in the middle of filming season seven of Flipper Flop, I was doing deadlifts at the gym. Next thing you know, I was on the ground. I hurt my back bad to the point where I knew I was in big trouble. I couldn't go through what I went through again. So I knew how to do something different. So I looked into stem cell therapy and I ended up getting two procedures. They numb you, they take out fat, inject stem cells back into you. So I'm very, very hopeful it works because if it doesn't work, I'm gonna be back on those pills and living a horrific life. So my fingers are crossed and I'm really hopeful this time. We're now joined by Flipper Flop star Tarek El Moussa. Welcome back, Welcome sir. Back. I gotta it's been a while. It has been a while. You look good. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, you look I, well. Out of curiosity, what part of your back were, were you dealing with these issues? Oh my gosh, so I slipped multiple discs um, from the midway point all the way down to where the, the pain was down in my uh, spine tailbone area and a sciatica shooting down to my ankle. So you decided this time around to do the stem cell procedure, right? They did liposuction. They pulled the fat out, which is very weird getting liposuction, by the way. It's a very California <laughs> experience. And I was like, it. well, while you're doing it, can you do a little bit more? They said, no. <laughs> well, you, you do look thinner, by the way. I was like, yeah, two for one? This is great. Yeah. And so it was wild. So they pull out the fat, you see it, they spin it, and then they injected it through my body, and it searches through my body to find inflammation and damage. And I can say this right now, it's the future. It, it was a miracle. Within three weeks, I had more progress than a year and a half before, and today, standing here, I'm pain-free. Thanks to you. Wow. Yeah, with that technique, when they That's take great. the fat, it's the centrifuge process that somehow separates these, these cells that are more likely to have a stem cell-like effect. Joining us now to discuss this is orthopedic spine surgeon, Dr. Human Melamed, because Tark clearly had just a wonderful result. And your life, I'll say it, sounds like it sucked in terms of dealing with all the pain here he is, pain-free. We wanted to have you on because we're curious from a medical perspective, when it comes to the back, how these treatments work, and then, of course, who might be a candidate. I think it's very, very uh, important first to figure out the reason why the patient ended up with that condition. What is that? You have to look at the patient's lifestyle. I think just coming in and sometimes saying, oh, I'm just going to inject some stem cells. We're going to get you going. That may not be the answer because... If the patient's body, for example, if they're full of inflammation, they're not on a good diet, for example, if you're on a uh, processed food, fast food diet, a lot of sodas, you have a lot of inflammation in your body, like a lot of dairy, stem cell honestly is not gonna be optimized. So you have to clean up your diet. And also, you have to look at the lifestyle, what you're doing on a daily activity. Is that contributing to having spine problems or musculoskeletal problems? So if you're sitting all day, which we know is not good for you sitting all day, if you're, for example, working out the wrong way, that's not good for you. You're going to do damage.